I want to thank you guys so much. It's such an amazing honor. And I, I'm going to make it super quick, you guys, I promise. Um, I just want to say, you know, a few years, well, a lot of years ago, um, my publicist called me and asked me, told me that someone wanted me to be their date um, for New York Fashion Week for three shows. And I was like, oh, OK. Um, turns out to be some really influential lady in fashion. Her name was um, Anna Wintour. <sighs> um, yeah, they really needed me there to sit next to her, you know, I mean. But I want to say thank you to Anna. What Ashton said is so true. We all have insecurities. And I want to say shout out to all of the kick-ass women, not only in this room, but all around the world, who, you know what, we win and fail in the public eye. And that's not easy to do. People think they know what what it requires. People think they could do it. Everybody wants to walk in your shoes until you put them in your shoes, and then it's like, oh, you know what I mean? So I want to I wanna say congratulations to all the girls in this world who are strong, who are confident, and yes, we have insecure moments, and that's okay. But guess what? You do something that millions of people would never be able to do if they had the opportunity, because it takes guts, it takes balls. It takes balls to be able to lose and to fail and to make mistakes in the public eye. Oh, you know what I did want to say? Uh, people always ask me about inspiration. When I, I, I'm, first of all, I'm a proud immigrant. And I came to America, <laughs> when I came to America, shout out to my country, Trinidad. When I came to America, I wanted to see America. I thought I'd be living in this big castle. But unfortunately, my mother and, you know, didn't really, my parents didn't have it like that. So, you know, humble beginnings. But all I wanted to do was go to Tokyo. And so I went to Tokyo, and I'll never forget, I went, you know, I was so obsessed with the Harajuku culture. And I met the girls down there, and they were dressed like me. And I went to, back to my hotel and cried, because I couldn't believe that I couldn't understand a word that girls were saying. But there was a universal language we both spoke, and that was fashion, and that was hair, and that was makeup, and you know, all those fun things. So shout out to all the people in, in the world of fashion. I mean, I know some people might not think it's important, but, um, but you know what, it bridges, you know, it closes the gap in, in so many cultures. You know, we might not understand languages, but we understand looks, and, and we understand fierceness, and women, and beauty, and, and all those things. So I wanna thank, um, Japan for being one of my biggest influences. <laughs> and and to London and to you guys, well, everyone in here, everyone in here, guess what? I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Whatever you do here, keep on doing it, keep on killing it. And you know, thank God. Thank God for health and strength, you guys. We're alive today. We need to just be happy for that.